Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mooch News for the week of March 18th. This is going to be a hopefully weekly, uh, approximately weekly, uh, just quick look at the testing I've done recently, the testing I'm about to do, and any news, rants, or commentaries that I might have for the week. Uh, let's get started. The first one is going to be that the, I have my notes up here, did a testing of the VAP cell, the 3100 Ma 2700, fantastic cell, and it's not a Sanyo. NCR 2700A rewrap, but it's a very good cell. I think it's a China cell, not really sure. Uh, beats a VTC 5A, beats the five leg uh, 2700s, but with a 30 amp, 3100 mAh rating, you would expect if it's a good cell, it would beat those. Uh, now, its availability is limited. I don't know who has it or when they'll have it, but the testing is fantastic. I'm looking forward to more of these being available. Now, the other one that's kind of going up against is VAP cells 3200 mAh. One, this is the Sanyo NCR 2700A rewrap. This I tested earlier, but 200 of these just became available well, over the weekend at lithium ion wholesale. As of Sunday afternoon, the 17th, I think they have about 60 left. I don't know of any left. I don't know when they're getting them in. Ask them. I don't know who else has it, but hopefully this means that some are starting to become available in the Sanyo A's and more of this 3100 Ma VAP cell become available. The other cells I tested recently are the EH Pros. Six different ones, they all have different color end caps. This one is the 60 amp, 3000 mAh battery. But if you take a look at the specs, on the left hand side, do you see the micro printing in there? Oh, there they tell you in something I need a microscope for, what the continuous rating is, what they claim the continuous rating is. Now, this, no. This is, that's too small, that max 60 amp on the side is what everyone sees. That's what they put on Facebook. You have to go to the website and start digging in just to find out what their claim continuous rating is. The stuff in the battery is so tiny, no one's gonna see it. That's not good enough, EH Pro. You can't do that. On top of that, I've got two issues with EH Pro. Now, this is not the EH Pro that uh, eSync company, it has the Billow and um, the Buddha and Bachelor atomizers and a couple of mods. This is Boots Battery Technology Company, and they went and got a trademark, EH Pro, with the same font as EH Pro's e-cigarette company, but they got it for batteries, and evidently that's legal. Now, both those companies that say they're not the same, and considering how angry EH Pro e -cig company is against Boots Battery, I believe them, but I just don't know. The other thing I don't like is they market and sell these batteries to vapors, but then if you go to the website, and only on the website, they say never to use these with e-cigarettes. So, well, I'm gonna to listen to them and say, don't buy these batteries. If you're a vapor, don't buy these batteries. No EH Pro battery. They don't want our business, let's not give it to them. Because you don't get to play it two ways. Market to us, sell it to us, pocket the profits, and then go, whoa, don't actually use them because you're covering self liability wise. And this is different than vendors who do it because they're marketing to anybody who'll buy their batteries. And it's different than what Sony or LG does because they don't want our business. They never want anyone to use their batteries. Whereas EH Pro or Boots Battery, who have the EH Pro for Batteries um, trademark, they're selling the vapors. So I didn't like that at all. I also tested the Sherlock Home. And forgive the wraps. You'll see some janky wraps here. It's because I take the wraps off every time I test the battery. And I'm just kind of slapping it back on for this. But the Sherlock Home battery by Home Tech, the 2700, which is, I didn't write down the specs on it and I can't read that. I don't remember the performance of it. I haven't looked hard at the data. I'm currently talking to Home Tech about their ratings. There's a pulse rating on this. And also their advertising, which is very technical, but I want them to say what that means for vapors. I can interpret it, but that's not what it should be about. They, let them tell us. So we're going back and forth with that. Hope to post the results of this soon. The next is smoke or smock X8 and V8, the sticks testing. Now there were two, there were two incidents there were videos going around of about them catching fire while charging. So I, through some wonderful donations, tested 11 different new uh, V8s and X8s and found nothing essentially inconclusive. No smoking gun as to what to be the causes. They, they ran uh, decent temperatures. There was no obvious assembly or QC issues on there. There was no damage to the battery as they were being inserted. Now the one burnt out one, I also got a burnt out one, the 12th one, and 
it was so badly charred. I mean, this is what's left of the circuit board. <laughs> There's no analysis of this gonna happen. We just don't know. This doesn't mean they're all safe. This doesn't mean there's some issue. Uh, things that weren't tested were like juice in the USB port or other things, but I tested it 5.2 volts with a 2 amp, 2.4 amp Apple iPad charger. I tested it with four volts with a, a power supply that restricted the current to simulate a really cheap charger block. Everything was fine. So just don't know, but uh, at least, at least this isn't something huge and systemic uh, that I was able to find. That doesn't help the people I know whose units burnt. Uh, and the people are worried, but I just wish, I don't have any other news, I wish I did. Um, testing queue, what's coming up next? The Black Cell 2700 is gonna be tested. This was the uh, 30 amp, 4000 ma, and then the 21700, which is a 40 amp, 3800 ma. These hopefully within the next week or so. I'm also gonna be testing the, spin it right, the eFest. And this is a 35 amp 3700 ma that I'm looking forward to testing. I've got a bunch of requests for that. And that'll be for this week. The testing station, which has caused some delays as I've ported everything over and moving all the equipment, is pretty well ready. And that's some news. I'm going to have a video all about that to show everybody. I just need to get some harness wiring harnesses done for some of the high current testing and run some USB cords uh, behind the scenes and get you a video of that. And to get back to testing, because I had to interrupt the life cycle testing of the 3000 mAh batteries for this for, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, there are rumors, not rumors, actually a lot of people have been asking me about Voltaplex, a uh, distributor, evidently, who claimed they had 30,000 Samsung 30T, the unicorn, the best cell I've ever tested, um, cells in stock. And they were selling them at a minimum order quantity of 50 pieces. And everybody's asking me, are they reliable? I have no idea, I've never heard of them. Uh, now they say they're sold out. That I can see, that the cell's in big demand. They hope to have more in April until I get a couple of cells from them somehow and test them. I can't say whether they have genuine 30Ts or not. But the rumors I was hearing at the end of last year was starting about now um, to about summer is when the 30T and Samsung 40T, roughly 30 amp, 4,000 ma cells, were gonna start becoming available and appearing in the market. So maybe they're finally coming. Secondary market. Is, is where we get a lot of sales from. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that as I get a lot of people saying comments to me or I see posting, why doesn't someone just order 50,000 of these? Or how come they just get 200 at a time, da, 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 da. We don't get these things directly from the manufacturer. Now maybe Illuminated Supply or IMR Batteries or somebody might, I, I don't know. But for the most part, we get ours from excess inventory that is sold off and it works its way through all the different channels until, oh, hey, one of our distributors or a vendor can get hold of a certain number here or there. Until this excess inventory forms, we don't get any of them. I mean, if a customer comes along, a huge industrial, a commercial customer comes along and goes, oh, we like the Samsung 30T, we want your entire production for a year, for two years. That's it, there's a two year delay before we can see any. Unless, you know, they use only 90,000 of the 100,000 they want, or. 900,000 of the million they wanted and they put the other 10,000 or 100,000 on the secondary markets, they auction it off or sell it off. Now we might get access to it. So this is why there's a huge delay and why uh, so many vendors who would love to buy more or distributors can't. They're just not available for a very long time because they are the good sales and the really big customers are just scarfing up 100% of the production. I done a while ago a shootout between the 3000 Ma cells, the HG2, VTC6 and the Samsung 30Q. The performance was fairly close. I'm wondering if you guys would like to see a teardown of these three cells. They're pretty similar in performance. What are they like inside? Are they pretty close or not? Uh, are there big differences? And you know, with the new testing station and some other things, it makes it a little bit easier for me. If you'd like to see a teardown, see what's going on inside one of these, let me know. Also, this is, if I can get it up, this is the cell from a smock stick x8 v8 it is a pouch cylindrical cell as opposed to like the pouch lipos which use a, a rectangular cell this is a fully maxed 900 ma one from the first releases from the dna 200 box mods and i was thinking this might be an interesting teardown so how much of a difference is there really is it just shape or other things going on between the cylindrical lipos that come in a lot of internal battery mods where they just kind of fold everything hard against the cell and jam it down in a tube and what we use in a box mod. This is a 3S. I'll pull one cell out of here. 
wonder if you'd like to see a teardown of this. If so, let me know in the comments. The same for the 3000 mAh battery teardown. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching.